What's going on, Gemini? It's time for your weekly reading. We're going to take a look at January 27th through February 2nd. What is up? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. Like, share, subscribe for me. Thank you for all your support. Welcome new subscribers and viewers. Sometimes I say bad words. If that's going to offend you, take a hard left right off the channel. But I hope you stay, stick around, and get your message or messages. If y'all need a private reading, my link is below where you can go book your private reading. My Instagram is there as well. All right, I'm gonna use the Tarot of Dreams by Barchetti for your main spread, and then to clarify, we're gonna use the Fountain Tarot. It's my favorite deck, and I really don't use it often, but I love it. Both of those uh, are in the description box as well, because, well, people ask. All right, Gemini, let's see what your energy looks like. Again, this is the 27th through the 2nd, but as you may or may not know, it's just really whenever you watch the reading, all right? It may or may not fit your situation, but let's hope it does. All right, sometimes, you know, usually my readings are love, but it's just whomever or whatever situation you have on your mind. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm almost finished talking because I've been speaking now for over a minute, and it's kind of annoying. So let's get to, <laughs> but you know, we got business to get out of the way, and I got to get that energy moving. All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming in for you guys. Your main focus and energy for the week, 27th through February 2nd. What's up? Coming into the current moment, what's your energy? Ooh, seven of wands. Are you blocking someone, Gemini? Are they blocking you? Are you fighting for what you want? Standing your ground? Let's move you down so you can actually see the cards. What's influencing or challenging that seven of wands is the ten of wands. A lot going on, burdens, all right, pressure, perseverance though. What's on your mind? The fool in reverse sign of Aries. Some of you have an Aries on your mind. All right, what happened in the recent past? What do we have? The three of wands. What's the situation? What's the reason for the reading? Mm, hi, daddy, king of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. Some of you have a fire sign you're dealing with. Some of you have fire in your chart. Some of you are just in this energy where it's all about creation and taking charge. That king of wands is achieving something quickly because those wands are, are action and movement, something you're passionate about. All right, coming into the near future, you will experience the strength card. So a lot of Leo energy there. How do you see yourself right now, Gemini? Well, as yourself, the magician, Gemini, Virgo, maybe Aries energy, that magician is manifesting. You guys feel pretty powerful right now. With that king of wands, if this isn't a fire sign you're dealing with, you see yourself as very magnetic, powerful, decisive, feeling confident. The magician is creating right? Number one, Major Arcana, you, you guys are manifesting. You're using the laws of attraction to create something new. You're fighting for it. I don't feel like this is a blockage. I feel like you guys are tired of being overburdened by a situation, whether that's work, life, love, your dog, whatever. All right, what are they bringing? You have somebody in your environment that's bringing the four of wands your way. Look at all this fire. Aries energy. This person is stable. This person uh, with the Four of Wands probably wants stability within their life, their home. The Four of Wands are bringing joy and celebration. It may be a new beginning with that 1111, some sort of soulmate, twin flame shit, if you believe in that. You yeah, know, this is manifesting and it's a lot of stability and joy and harmony. All right. What's going on in your emotions, Gemini? The Nine of Wands. <laughs> Could there be any more wands? You guys are feeling passionate either about a person or a situation. Sagittarius energy there in the Knight of Wands. This is a traveler. Some of you guys are on the move. You're going to be traveling or you have a new passion. Something's making you excited. What's the outcome, Gemini? What do we have? We have the King of Swords in reverse. That could certainly be you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. King of Swords in reverse is a little bit detached, maybe feeling like you can't conquer something. All right, that King of Swords in reverse is not communicating. Could be kind of nasty energy. I mean, if this is someone else, we're going to have to see because this is such a positive reading. Why is that King of Swords in reverse? Right? Maybe not communicating how you feel, maybe not knowing all the answers because that King of Swords in the upper is communicative. He's knowledge. He's very... Um, the King of Swords energy is very logistical, not really letting emotions get in the way. I'm just feeling some sort of indecision or not feeling confident, but in the foundation you are. 
So let's see what this is about. Bottom of the deck, you have the four of coin. Some of you guys are holding on to your stability. That four of coin is budgeting, right? I feel like you guys are holding on to something, some sort of value and stability. Because again, in the foundation, we have a king of wands. All right, which is all about movement. You guys might be holding on to somebody, holding back from somebody. For those of you that this is career and just your life in general, you're holding on to your own values and belief systems. You may not be telling a whole lot of people to your next move, right? With that uh, four of coins, just kind of keeping it all to yourself, not revealing, all right, not opening up about everything. If you're not just kind of holding on to your money right now and security. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Gemini need to know? January 27th through February 2nd, 2020. What's the main energy for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the message that Gemini needs to know? Coming into the near future, you will overcome some obstacles. That strength card is having the courage and the strength, right, to move forward. Could be that you're holding back from something too, because we do have some holding back energy. Uh, with strength and the four coins. So we're going to see what this is all about. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's the main energy? The 27th through the 2nd, 2020. Hear my dogs galloping in the background there. It's a weekend. What can I say? It's never a dull moment here at my home. But we're all zen. We're all good. All right. What's going on, Gemini? Let's cut it and do it. Again, this is the fountain tarot that I'm clarifying with. I am. Okay, why is this four coin the overall energy for Gemini? What is this about? Capricorn energy? That Yeah, see the nine of coin in reverse. Some of you guys feel um, a lack of stability with money. You feel a little bit codependent on money right now. You're trying to get your money together. Or you don't feel like you have everything that you need. It doesn't mean like you're struggling necessarily, but there is this feeling of I got to hold on to that money and that stability because I'm walking away from something with the eight of cups. You guys are walking towards the two cups to get you to that 10. You're everything, the end all be all, family, home, job, whatever that is for you guys. That eight of cups is you're having to leave something behind, but I think that you guys are really holding on to your security here in order to follow this dream of this eight of cups. You have a three of wands in the past. What is this about? Manifesting the moon, but being a little bit uncertain. Pisces, Cancerian energy. The three of wands is waiting. Waiting, it's it's exploring and expediting, picking a direction, right? And trying to manifest. Again, with the wands, it's action. It's about taking action. But with the moon energy, I feel like there was some fear of the unknown here. You guys are like stepping into um, something that's unknown and that's a little bit fear based. Why is the moon in the past? What is it? Death. Yeah. Sign of Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, maybe waiting on a Scorpio, trying to manifest with a Scorpio. But death is also, you know, change. Death is letting old ways. I just get the sense you guys are leaving a lot of like your old ways. It could be a person. It could be anything behind. And you're about to go through a lot of big changes. Uh, Scorpio rules the eighth house, which is all about change. Um, what's the death card? What's this about? Transformations. Yeah. Yeah. Judgment call, big life-changing decisions is what I just said. You know, judgment is like looking back at your past and making a final judgment call to do something. And it has to do with leaving shit behind and holding on to your own values. Coming in right now, you've got the seven of wands. Why is this here? For a Gemini, the five of swords in reverse. Standing your ground, blocking out situations, energy, people that are just bringing any kind of strife or conflict. It's very powerful with the seven of wands. I don't feel like this is being defensive. I feel like coming in right now with that seven of wands, that Leo energy, this is all about walking your own path now and just leaving shit behind that was maybe causing conflict, just not good for you. What's influencing this is the 10 of wands or the challenge is the 10 of wands. Why? The page of coin. There's burdens here with some sort of new beginning that has um, money and value tied to it. The page of coins is a student. They're learning a new trade or going towards a new job, something like that. I think that the Ten of Wands is just perseverance over this. There's a lot going on. The Ten of Wands is you have a lot on your plate and it has something to do with value. This could even be I need a loan or I need a lump sum of money or something like that, a new job. 
on your mind, you're being cautious. You have the fool in reverse. Why is this here? You could be dealing with an Aries. Maybe the um, in love. This could be somebody that is has some trust issues. So they're going to be super cautious. What's this about? Fool in reverse. The hermit in reverse. Sign of Virgo. The hermit in the upright, of course, is a teacher. They're very wise, very spiritual. The hermit is all about, you know, knowing how to use your inner voice, right? And, and listening to it and researching and trying to uncover and being okay on one's own and isolated. Now in the reverse, this is coming back out. This is coming back around. Could be on your mind, somebody coming back around to you, but this, but you're being very cautious or this person's being very cautious. There's some trust issues here. What's this hermit in reverse? Yeah, the three of cups, some sort of reconciliation and reunion with somebody maybe you were secluded from, maybe you didn't speak to for a while, something like that. But on your mind is either you're being really cautious because you don't necessarily trust everything about the situation or this person just has trust issues. This could even be a friend with that Three of Cups. Why is the Fool in Reverse on your mind? Yeah, the Three of Swords. You're dealing with somebody who um, has trust issues because they've been hurt. They don't. It doesn't necessarily mean they've been hurt in love, but maybe they've gone through a breakup. They're having a hard time trusting because there's disappointment with that Three of Swords. This is either you or the person on your mind, all right? The reason for the reading is this King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. What's this about? The High Priestess, listening to your intuition to go for something. There's something here that you guys are feeling passionate about and you want to go for it. And I think that a lot of you guys are really spiritual with this high priestess here and the hermit listening to one's inner voice. The high priestess, maybe you're not revealing everything. I feel like this is more about intuition and, and having some sort of goal and achievement that you have a lot of desire for. Yeah, and it definitely could be work with the eight of coin or putting hard work and effort into a person, right? All right, coming in, you will experience strength, Leo energy. What's this about? The Knight of Swords, that could certainly be you, Gemini. You're in pursuit of something quickly. I don't think this is holding back. I think coming into the near future, you're going to experience being very confident, right? And with that Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is a traveler. They're in pursuit of something quickly. What's this Knight of Swords? And it's going to require a lot of confidence, which you, you will have. The Knight of Cups in reverse, Maybe not completely ready to open up those emotions with that Knight of Cups in reverse, either you or this other person. So it's still, you're still in pursuit of this and you're going to remain strong and move forward and overcome any kind of obstacles. Again, however this fits into your life. What's this Knight of Cups? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the Six of Wands in reverse, letting go of ego, but also Six of Wands in reverse is feeling like, all right, somebody's not completely opening up emotionally with that Knight of Cups in reverse, not completely. There's still like this feeling of, well, this is just going to lead to failure, or I'm not getting the attention that I want from this person, because you're dealing with somebody that's had some disappointment and loss, okay? I think on your mind is more about coming together and having some sort of um, collaboration, whether it's a love interest or a friend, something like that. You want this to come back together, but you'll find coming into the near future, somebody's just so cautious. They're afraid that it's going to fail. Right now, you're the magician. You're trying to manifest something. That's you, Gemini, the king of swords in reverse. Again, you guys are showing up in reverse, just like in the outcome. There's something that you guys feel um, detached from or that you can't use your logic, that you're trying to, right? It's like you can't hone in. You're not in your energy in the upright. Why is this King of Swords in reverse? The Seven of Coin reflecting on the past. Something to do with an investment. You're trying to manifest here, but you don't feel completely confident. But the universe says, yeah, go for it. Like it's going to happen. It's something um, passionate or creative. You have somebody in your environment. They're the Four of Wands. What's this about? The Emperor. Again, more Aries energy. This person um, is very confident. This person is all about stability. They like run their empire. The emperor is about setting some boundaries. It's very, very strong energy. And I think this could be the same person that you have on your mind here. What's this emperor here? What's this emperor about? Yeah, see, <laughs> 
the fool in reverse, and that's what's on your mind. You already know this about this person. You're dealing with somebody who's very strong. They're trying to bring back order and, um, you know, stability into their life, and they do have some trust issues with that fool in reverse. But I think that you guys are trying to manifest past that energy, but you're not overly confident either. You're kind of not in your energy either about, and I think it's just because you don't know how to deal with this energy or this person. All right. Now the outcome has this king of swords in reverse. This could be, could be you, but also it could be another air sign or just somebody that's just detached. What's this king of swords about in reverse? The knight of coin. Okay. This is about building for the future. Okay. Again, if this is you for career, then that king of swords in reverse is you, not in your element. You're worried about the stability and finances because you guys are leaving some shit behind and you're going towards almost like new beginnings with career, money, something like that. It's in the foundation too. But with the king of swords in reverse, you're just kind of not in your element. You're not really sure. I don't think that you're feeling overly confident. I think this king of wands is more about taking the action. The Knight of Coins is building, though, for the future. It's very, it's going to be slow. Like, it's very, very slow to move forward. What's this Knight of Coin about? But look at that badass shit with the Ten of Coins. It's going to be badass. You're building towards very long-term relationship. I think that if this is a, if this is romance, something that you're interested in, you're going to have to be patient because they're having a lot of trust issues. They're just trying to regain control of their life. I think that they'll be open to it, but you're going to have to be strong for you and for them, it looks like. And in the outcome, it looks like this is headed towards long term. There's a commitment here, and it could go a very long ways with that Knight of Coin and the Ten of Coin. This is like tangible. This isn't just wands and emotion. This is something that can really, you can build a legacy and a dynasty. Um, that Ten of Coins is long term commitment, it's marriage, but more than that, it's just very stable, very grounded, earthly energy for work. You're going to get there too. This looks good. You guys have a new beginning towards um, a new career, um, a promotion, something like that. Money looks excellent as well. And it's with the four of coins here. It's about holding on to that security. There's a lot of security coming in for you guys financially. And then also on the love front. It's a good energy. Yeah, look at that. And what a way to end your reading with the lovers. There you are. Major Arcana for Gemini. The lovers, a relationship. And I think that this is a badass reading because this shows that you guys are persevering. Yeah, you're a little wobbly, but I think it's because of the person that you're dealing with or somebody in your environment. You're just kind of like trying to detach yourself a little bit after reflecting on how you want to move forward with this, right? And it's about manifesting. And, you know, again, it's because they're cautious. And with the lovers, you're making this choice, this decision. Yeah, you're able to move on to calmer waters. A lot of you are going to be traveling and moving as well, making that head over heart decision in love. This is a relationship that you're going to help this person. or They're helping you come to some sort of mental resolution after they've had some shit external to you is what it looks like, Gemini. Money looks good and love looks good. What else can I say besides I love you hard? Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.